Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the modifications I've made to my car, this 2013 Kia K5. Now as you can see, I've done several modifications to the vehicle, and I've achieved some pretty interesting results in my uh, desire to get this vehicle to perform the very best that it possibly can. Quad horn modification. As you can see from this diagram, the horn electronic circuit is constructed using a connector here. Now this connector is linked up to the stock horn electrical connection. From here, this connection travels to a single pole, single throw relay so that when you press the horn, the relay opens and allows power to come from the battery to the four horns. Now, something to keep in mind is the fact that electrical circuits for horns, for instance, cannot be attached in series. They have to be rigged in parallel, so that's why we have the uh, positive lead here branching off to feed power to all four of our horns. Now, from here, our negative connections all branch back down and go straight to ground. Now. The types of horns used in this mod are a pair of Hella Sharp Tone Horns and a pair of Hella Super Tone Horns. Now we have these arranged in such a way that they're sort of interleaved with each other in terms of frequency outputs. So our threes are located here and our four and our five are located here. This is what's known as a phased array. Now the total wattage is about 216 watts, and as a result we're ending up with a deeper, more penetrating sound, which provides us with greater road authority and superior range. An additional mod that's not actually present in this diagram is a voltage stabilizer. Now what a voltage stabilizer is able to do is it helps prevent power loss when uh, high draw applications are applied to a circuit such as in a car where there's an alternator present. As you can see from this diagram, voltage stabilization has an interesting effect on any electrical applications within a vehicle. Now, as you can see from this diagram, the alternator provides power for the vehicle in AC. So this has to be rectified to DC because as we know car uh, vehicle systems run on 12 volts DC. Now, this voltage stabilizer here has the job of smoothing out the DC signal because remember we're just basically cutting the AC signal in half and that's how and and doubling it and then that's how we get our stable voltage now some smoothing is actually handled by the battery but you get more smoothing off your voltage stabilizer now what does this mean this means that especially if you've converted your uh, vehicle over to LED power you'll note that the LEDs may pulse noticeably especially on camera if you had a voltage stabilizer, this means that they won't pulse anywhere near as noticeably. They also, you'll also notice brighter lights and of course more power, which comes back to our quad horn mod. We need all the power we can get. Now, since it, this is about a horn mod, it would probably be best if we could actually hear what it sounded like. So what we're going to do is, we're actually going to test this at about 30 feet away. So this is right about 30 feet and I'm gonna put the camera down right at about ear height for just about where you would be if you were sitting in a car with the window open about 30 feet in front of this as you can hear that was quite loud it's definitely an advantage over a stock horn system so this concludes our review of the quad horn mod for this Kia K5. So thank you very much for watching. If you wish, you may follow me on either Instagram or Car Throttle, where I do share a lot of other modifications of my vehicle. Things like suspension and power and electronic modifications of various types. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, that was this week's video, and to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.